Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be back. Um, yes, I have a kind of a new background back here. Um, I actually moved, so sorry for the late video. I was just trying to get everything together. So today I am doing this vampy look today. I know it's summer, but I'm sorry, I just couldn't help myself. This is like me almost every day. You can like ask any of my coworkers. This is this eye, not particularly this lip, because I just went to do this with it. But this eye is something that I usually wear almost every day. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and let's get to it. So I took the liberty of doing my brows and one eye because I do not want this video to be long even though it probably will be. So moving on. First I'm going to take um, the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and this is an NC30 and I'm just going to prime my lids with it. I just like using this. I always go back to this for some reason because I never have any problems with it, but I don't know. Just my favorite. I've been wanting to use MAC eyeshadows. I don't know because they've been literally tucked in my drawer in the back and I have not been using them. Um, I'm going to go into my, I mean, they're all pretty much neutral colors, but I'm actually going to go into soft brown. And then after that, I'm going to be using saddle. And this can go pretty high. You don't have to put it in one specific spot. You can just totally do circular motions or windshield wiper motions. Next, I'm gonna go into Saddle. I'm just gonna wipe, use that same brush. And this one's gonna go right along my crease line. So don't bring it up as far as you did with the soft brown color. You know, I just realized I forgot to put tape on. So I'm just gonna go with my Daniel Scotch tape. Take it, um, take the sticky off. I'm gonna peel it off and then go back on again and then put it on my eye just so it won't be so harsh taking it off and it won't like pull your skin as hard as, you know, as if it were by itself without you taking any sticky off. Just go back and forth with saddle. I'm going to take a small brush like this. This is the Sigma um, E57 Firm Shader. By the way, this other brush that I use is actually the Morphe MB23. This is like one of my favorite brushes right now. It is just perfect. So now I'm going to be going into Sketch. It's this one right here. And this is going to go on my outer corner. I'm just going to be packing this right here and kind of making a V shape. I'm kind of going a little bit on my lash line, but mainly just stick to the outer corner of the eye. After that, I'm just going to take a little bit more of a denser brush than the other one I was using. And this is like a Target brush that they totally discontinued, and it's amazing. So I'm just going to blend this right on top of where we put that color, but probably right where it ended. Don't you know, blend it all the way up. Just blend right on that line because you don't want to take it up too far to make it look kind of muddy. So just kind of fade that line just a little bit. And yes, you're going to have to take your time with this because blending, like I always say, is key. So just take your time with this, you know? So... Now I'm going to take the color Antiqued. This is like the most prettiest color ever. And that is going to go on the center of my lid and kind of blend it into the um, sketch color. Now I'm going to go into the color Amber Lights from MAC. And this is just your old copper shade. Not even. It's like a bronzy shade. I don't know. It looks like that. And this is going to go on the inner corner, blending into Antiqued. You can take it kind of on that inner tear duct there. For highlight, I'm gonna go into Max Mylar. There. 
So for liner, I'm going to be taking the Makeup Forever Gel Liner, and I'm going to be putting this on my lash line. I'm not going to be doing a wing, though. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and take this off. Ooh, so crispy. So to prime my face, I'm going to be using the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Anti-Aging Mattifying Lotion. And I actually have a big one of this coming because I love it so much. If you have... um. <clears throat> combination oily skin, you will really, really love this product. It is, I've tried many different mattifying primers and this by far is like my favorite at the moment. So I'm just gonna take a little bit and I only get oily like on my T-zone. So I'm just going to put it in the areas that I need it. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Sephora Taunt Infusion, Taunt Infusion. And this is a um, natural finish. And <clears throat> no joke, I love this foundation. It is so pretty and natural looking on the skin. It looks like you're not wearing anything, which I mean, most of us want to achieve, but um, I really love this product. And I'm gonna be using the Sephora number 53. This is a pro full coverage airbrush brush. It's really cool because it has a dropper. You see that? It's really cool. So I'm in the color number 26 peach. So what I usually do is I just kind of put it on my brush and go from there. I really need to get some sun. This is, I'm like never this light. For my under eyes, I'm actually gonna take you in a little bit. Um, just to show you what I do, but I am going to make <clears throat> a separate video of this, and this is kind of how I conceal. I'm just going to show you really, really quickly. So what I do is I take the Bobbi Brown Corrector in Dark Peach, and it is way darker than my skin tone, but this will help correct the blue in it, like the blue purplish undertones um, under your eyes. So I'm going to be placing that right where it's dark. You don't need to go anywhere else, just where it's dark at. What I do is I just take my finger just to warm the product up and let it kind of dissolve into my skin a little bit more than a brush would. For concealer, I'm going to be taking the Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. This is from Urban Decay and I have the shade Light Warm. Now this is super, super light for my skin tone, but I don't know. This is something I want to do. So what I'm going to do is just get a sponge. I don't have this wet, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray this with like the Evian water spray or whatever it is. And I'm just going to go pat this in. Now it takes away most of the product that you don't need, which is the reason why I really, really love this. You can kind of sharpen up that, that edge of your eyeshadow with this if it's kind of wonky. So to set that, I'm just going to be using my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder and I'm going to be using the shade Radiant Light. See how I'm like drifting away from my Makeup Forever? For those who follow me, you know I use that in every tutorial. So I'm kind of trying to venture out and do something different. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up my eyes because I look ridiculous. So I'm going to take my Urban Decay Perversion Eyeliner and I'm just going to line my lash line and my waterline. I'm going to go into sketch what we use on the outer corner and I'm just going to push this right on my lash line I'm just going to take a brush and kind of put it at this angle and just kind of drag it down to that bottom lash line 
Yes. Yes. Okay, so next I'm going to go into Antiqued. And this is going to just be blended into the sketch shade. Take your time because you want it to be really, really hazy. Then I'm going to go and take just a little bit of soft brown and I'm going to just blend out even more. This is a new Dior um, mascara and it's really, really cool because it will, I guess the technology behind it is it has this enclosure that creates this like suction so that you won't get any air inside the tube so your mascara will last longer. All right, so I just got these off the internet, like off Amazon, and these are called, what is this? Day Pretty Licious. So it has a whole bunch of types of lashes to even like little accent lashes right here. So I'm gonna take something that's a little bit more dramatic, but not too much to like hide my eye. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take these, the second one. So I'm gonna be taking this one. So it's a little thicker on the outside, which is what I want. I'm gonna take my Tarte Princess Avenue bronzer. And I actually use this on my clients, but I don't usually use it on myself. So I'm just going to take a little bit just to define my cheeks a little. Do my nose. For blush, I'm going to be using Max Harmony. And this is the Morphe G8 brush, the Gunmetal Collection. Might I say, this brush is amazing. It's like super, super soft. For highlight, I'm just gonna be taking my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette, and I'm gonna be mixing the middle and the darker shades together. This is like, oh, the best combination ever. For lips, I'm going to be using the MAC Vino Lip Liner. For lipstick, I'm going to be using my MAC Dark Side Lipstick. After that, I'm going to be taking my Makeup Forever Mist and Fix and just spraying this all over my face. 